people who play really good guitar uh, know that uh, Wayne Henderson, who lives over here at Rugby, uh, makes a, a stunning guitar. Well, I think I remember first picking a guitar up when I was about five years old, and my brother got it and started trying to learn to play, and he learned three chords, and, but he learned those three chords good enough to show them to me. You know, my dad was a influence too. He was an old time fiddle player. Played a little guitar with him. He was always into playing something. And it got so I could play them good enough that I could go to the Galax Fiddlers Convention and win a ribbon. And that really got me, got me into, uh, you know, trying to learn and practice. And we lived on a small farm right here in this community. And uh, we were always making things. I was. I made toys I played with and wagons to ride on. I made guitars out of cardboard boxes with fish line on them and all kinds of things like that. And I went home and started working on another guitar. It probably took me another year, you know. But that one I got done in about in the early 60s and uh, it's still together. And I stamped the number one in it and uh, my mama always made me hold on to it and keep it and I still have it. Early teenage years, I, somewhere along there is when I got that number one one done. And I'd, build a few other I got to making fancy ones. I would go down to my granny's at night. The local moonshiner came in one day and uh, he was uh, had a stranger with him. He said he had heard I'd made a guitar and wanted to see it. But I got my guitar out and, and uh, he sat down and played it for 30 minutes or so and he said well I think I'll just take a guitar and he had five $100 bills in his shirt pocket and that's more money than I'd ever seen or heard tell of. And uh, I took that money and bought me some more wood and shopsmith and, and tools that I'd never ever had before and, and I told my granny I said Lord of mercy if I can make money like this I'm gonna make guitars that's what I'm gonna do and I uh, have been ever since so I've made like 490 guitars and since that time and and I've made about 113 mandolins I do okay with you know selling my instruments but I would a whole lot rather see some you know, some great musician that I know or some young person who's trying to learn have a good instrument because I can remember how hard it was for me to get a good instrument when I was young. And he's, he's famous as a player too. He's a great player. Support for On the Crooked Road was provided by the Appalachian Regional Commission with additional support from these sponsors.